Okay, now the headings, ratios, rates, and time, which is why you can see there are, number one, so many ratios in here, but we usually call ratios by a different name. It starts with an F. Fractions. fractions, right? Like these guys, okay? Ratios, fractions, really the same kind of thing. Lots of rates as well, but rates are all in units, right? That's why you get centimeters in here and time as well. Many rates are something per hour, or per minute, or per second, right? Which is why we include all the, these ideas together, right? So let's see, how are we gonna go? Well, can you start me off with question one, mate? Two meters, how many centimeters? 200. 200, fantastic. So we're gonna multiply by 100. You might remember that, um, that decimal uh, metric, sorry, um, diagram that shows you how to convert between kilometers, meters, centimeters, millimeters, okay? So we're multiplying by 100, no big deal. Greatest common divisor, which is GCD for short. That's the biggest number. That's a factor of both of those. Brandon, you want to take me over that? Six. Six, okay. Six divides into 12 twice. It divides into 18 three times. Is there a bigger one? Hmm. Uh, it's easy to check when you look at the smaller number. Smaller numbers tend to have less factors. They don't always, but they tend to, right? So what's a bigger factor than six that fits into 12? What's the next factor after six? 12. It's, it's 12, isn't it, right? Like, you can't get any other factors, and 12 clearly doesn't divide into this, so we already have the biggest one. Does that make sense? 7 over 10, what's our equivalent fraction? Yep. Uh, 21. 21 over 30, and how do we get that? How do we go across, Danielle? Um, times by 3 because it changes. Um, times. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good, good. So the whole idea of the equivalent fractions is, if you do the same thing to the denominator as the numerator, the fractions will stay the same. As long as you're multiplying or dividing, right? Like for instance, a common error is to answer 27. That's a very common error to make. How did I make that error? I, I added instead of multiplying, right? So 10, you add 20 to get to 30. So how about I add 20 to get to 27? Why is that a problem? Because it's a completely different fraction. Yeah, yeah that's exactly right. Scale. Like you, you can check, you can actually, you can draw a diagram if you like. 27 out of 30 is quite a lot more than yeah. 7 out of 10, right? And not to mention that, but fractions, right? Like this, um, this fraction sign, what's an abbreviation for? What operation is it? It's, yeah. Dividing. It's division, right? So it's division. It's all about dividing and multiplying. This is not an adding, subtracting thing. It's, it's a multiply, divide thing. So that's why 21 is exactly right. Okay, who wants to have a go at the next question for me? All right, William, you had a go. Morgan, you want to give me a suggestion? Six. Six, okay. Now, lowest common multiple, right? In other words, that's the smallest number that has both of these as a factor. How would you get six? How did you get that out? Yeah. Two times three. Okay, now two times three is a nice quick way to get six. However, just be careful. Um, off on the side where you've put your working, over on the right-hand side here, I want you to write down this for me. Okay, now just for illustration, right? Because it shows you some methods are okay, but they're not always perfect. I could get a multiple of 10 and 15 by multiplying them, just like I did here, okay? But I can tell you right now, it's not gonna be the lowest common one, not by a long shot. 10 times 15, of course, is? 150, which is a multiple of 10, and it is a multiple of 15. But someone can tell me a smaller multiple, surely, that will go into both of those, right? Yeah, Jordan. 30. 30, very good. Now, 30 is much better. How do we get 30? Because it's much, it's much smaller, yeah. It's because you, what you can do is you can have like two lines where you go 10, 20, 30, and then below you have 15, 30. Good, 25. good. So lowest common multiple, common means it's a multiple of this one and it's a multiple of this one. So you can write down your multiples of 20. You can go 10, as was just suggested, 10, 20, 30. You do your multiples of 15. And as soon as you hit the second one, oh, it's common. So it's the lowest common multiple. You okay with that? So just, just watch out. Now, quick question before we move on to number five. Why do lowest common multiples appear in a question, a set of questions about ratios? What's that about? Why are lowest common multiples useful to ratios and fractions? Hmm, yeah. Is um, five lower than Five would be a divisor, oh, not okay. a multiple, yes. right? So you're answering another question. Yeah. Adam, do you want to give us a thought so on why it's? Find links between yeah, that's exactly right. It's about linking, it's about getting commonality between something like this. Example, um, let's take this number. You gave me this one, right? 
and this, okay? Now, if I just gave you that question, forget about all of this for a second, right? What would you have to do to this in order to put them together? Someone who hasn't said anything yet. Yeah, Nicole. Make the denominator the same. I need a common denominator, right? Did you hear that word? Common, common denominator? You want the lowest common multiple because that'll be the smallest number. Of course you could do it over 150, but why? Why huge numbers? Why not small numbers, okay? All right, let's move on. 18 out of 45, who's got the, someone who hasn't said anything yet, who's got a common, sorry, an equivalent fraction for me? Someone who hasn't said anything. Uh, yeah, Melanie. Two over, five. two over five. Now, what did we do to get that? Because it's exactly right. Yeah, Ethan. Times by six on both sides. No. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Six. Are you doing another question? Nine, nine, nine. Okay, I am, um, the number I want is nine. Nine is the greatest, greatest common divisor of both of these. You see how they all fit, yeah? yeah. What did I do? I divided, didn't I? Right? Um, so you go from 18 to 2, I divided. Perfect. Um, two fifths of 20? You can all tell me what two fifths of 20 is, right? It's eight. It's eight, because one fifth of 20 is four. Last bit on time. Um, these are actually both easy. To convert to 24 hour, right? All you have to write for an AM time is? Zero. Don't forget the zero. 715. Let's just hypothetically, just like I did before, what if it was 715 p.m.? How would that change things? Morgan? Very good. Because the difference between a.m. and p.m. is 12 hours, right? Because the clock has 12 hours on the face, so yeah, another 12. Last one? 410 in the morning or the afternoon? It's the morning. Nailed it. Okay, fantastic.